Hello, my name is Kale Collins. I'm a field application engineer at GateWorks. Um, in this video, I'd like to show you how to build an out-of-tree kernel module. And the wiki page that will accompany this video is track.gateworks.com slash wiki slash linux slash kernel. And the section is titled Building External Out-of-Tree Kernel Modules. And What's meant by out of tree is that the source for the module doesn't exist within the kernel source that you're using. Um, a lot of people are inclined to not cross compile and use headers, and uh, kernel headers are not needed to build kernel modules uh, in most, well, using the kernel source is the way to go and cross compiling. Um, the uh, the example, uh, I'm going to run through the example in this on this page and then I'm going to build a module that is uh, uh, that's an out of tree module that I'm going to be using for a uh, for a test that I'm doing today. Um, the module that I'm going to build is the um, it's the Google Coral uh, Edge TPU um, gasket and Apex module. Um, so the first step is that we will need to export our toolchain. And so um, I'm going to be doing this with uh, Newport because um, it's a little bit more straightforward than doing it with Ventana where Every uh, a lot of the a lot of the figuring stuff out has already been done. Um, so the first step, like configuring the toolchain, for example. So the first step will be that we will source our toolchain and export those variables. So I'm going to go into my um, BSP directory. Uh, we have a, a BSP wiki um, that will explain how to uh, repo sync and acquire the BSP. Let's see. So in this folder there's a file called setup environment. We can cat it. And you can see it's just basically giving a path to my compiler and telling it what architecture we're going to use. So I'm going to source that file. And then I'm going to go, just to show you what's in here, there's a Linux kernel directory. And if we were to build um, the Ubuntu, um, root f or Ubuntu operating system with this BSP, it would use, it would build the kernel using this source. Um, the you want to use the same source for the module because if you and you want to kind of build on my experience has been you want to build it on the same system because there is uh it's called a version magic um in the module I could show you just by Just, I'm going to just pick a module off here at random. Hopefully, I can. Oops. Yeah, okay. Well, actually, it is here. So we can see that this is built against the kernel that's being used. So this and that match. And so when we build our module for our board, we want to use the same kernel source. So we have that version magic matching. Otherwise, when we go to uh, add the module, it'll if it's not matching, it'll tell us it's not matching, and we won't be able to add it. Um, so we've already sourced our toolchain, and now what we're going to do is we're going to change to the model di module directory. Then I put this in here. Right. 
So I already created the two files from the uh, wiki, and I'll cat them to show you what they contain. That's a little bit messy, but oh well. Um, so the first one's really simple. It's just going to do a print case statement and then another print case statement. Simple. And then the make files as simple as they come. Uh, it's just going to build this object file. That's not all it's going to build, but that's what its target is. Um, so what we do is we just say make dash c for change directory and we're going to add the uh, module, I'm sorry, we're going to put the kernel source directory here, so that's going to be in this directory for me. And there's a subdirectory here called Linux, that's where the actual source is. And then we're going to say m equals dollar sign pwd. And this should build. And it did, easy. So you can see there's a KO file there, and that's what we would be loading on our board. You could copy this to your board and then do like an ints mod and you would get it. And I'll actually I'll show you. Uh, whoops. Oh man. Maybe this will work. Yeah, so we can see that the version magic is matching what I have here. I think this will be the fastest way to show it. Maybe the second fastest way to show it. You can see I'm using a 5.4.2 kernel and actually, let's get a little bit So you can see this SHA should match this right here. Let's see if it does. F28, F28. So it matches, so we know we did it right. Well, I mean, either way. So let's, uh, let's do like a real world example now. And this has one kind of change to it, and that's why I wanted to use it as an example. So if we cat this make file, we can see that it has some variables here that need to be filled in and module like nearly everything is going to everything is going to be a uh, unique scenario so in this case because i've built this module before um and older versions had a different version of the make file and my experience with building uh, this make file here, or s writing this make file here, where's the, uh, I don't know where I put it, but you can see the make file we made, it's just obj minus m. I happen to know that this variable needs to just be the letter m. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to export variable I want to say equals m I'm going to export the other variable I'm going to say that should equal m and then I'm going to run the same command that I did before and we get our modules. There they are. Anyway, uh, I hope this is helpful. Uh, this is a pretty complex topic and these are probably best case scenario examples. 
Um, if you're building an out of tree module and you're having trouble, please feel welcome to reach out to us at support at gateworks.com.